Welcome back to Mina's Bookshelf. Today is Valentine's Day, so I'm going to take this chance to do a general reading for love and relationship for whomever is single and looking for love. And this would be for the um, second half of February, beginning of, uh, beginning of March. Let's ask the oracle first and foremost, what is the general energy? of your situation what is the main theme of this uh, of this reading main theme of this reading spirit guides from the pure white light guardian angels and many saints ancestors who love us and love the highest good of all please protect me through the readings provide me with clarity guidance and inspiration Help me relay a message that might be helpful for my viewers who are looking for love and answers for any kind of uh, queries they have in uh, relationships. We have, to be fair, these cards remind me a lot of the um, justice card in uh, in the tarot. And we, we see on... Uh, on the two sides of the scales, we have a fortune cookie and something that looks like an egg. And there is um, a symbol of uh, wisdom and knowledge, the owl, on the head of this uh, interesting character. This is card number 38. We will read uh, the meaning from the, uh, the guidebook. But I do have the feeling that this is a situation where you are called... Um, to make an important decision, you are outweighing um, two, um, two different options, two different uh, possibilities. You're considering which way to go. And one seems to be something that follows the fates, and the other one seems to be like something that is um, uh, destined to hatch. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. Balance, decisions. So the first question for the Tarot is the what lessons in love did you have to learn in your in your past, in your recent past? What lessons and lessons in love did you have to learn in the past that might explain your current situation? What lessons in love? Did you have to learn in the past? Bring this to the side. Oops. So what lessons in love did you have to learn in the past? One card, please. This one. Two of Wings. Balance. How interesting. This card is an echo of the Oracle card that we just drew from the um, Wisdom of the Oracle by Colette Baron reed So the key word in, uh, in this deck, and this is the Enchanted Love Tarot by Amy Zerber and Monty Farber, is the Balance card. Um, the Two of Wings would be the Two of Swords. So in the past, you might have been st stuck... Um, you might have experienced some uh, analysis paralysis regarding a decision. Uh, it might have been a decision between two different people. It might have been a decision between a choice between two different options, two different choices, two different ways to uh, operate, uh, two different paths. And with the word fair and balance here, I also feel a different nuance to this. It's not just about being stuck, being unable to make a decision, but there's also the urge, the internal urge to be fair and just and balanced. Um, I don't know if there's um, a lot of Libra in your natal chart, uh, but anyway, I do, uh, I do sense that you're a very... Um, 
balanced person. You don't love drama. You don't love dra- rast- radical and drastic changes. You're very considerate not only of your own uh, wishes and uh, and needs, but also other people's wishes and needs. So I feel like you might have held yourself from acting, from making a decision, because you were considering also other people's uh, needs, other people's invo- other people involved in the situation. So this is the learning you might have lesson you might have learned in the past. Creating balance, being very careful when making decisions, when um, choosing between two possible options. What did you have to let go of in love in the past? What did you have to let go of? Ace of Wings. Okay, several cards fell out, and I'm going to just pick the first one that is on top that I saw. Um, You had to let go of the, the decision. You actually didn't make a decision. I don't feel like you made a decision in the past. Uh, You were called to it. You found yourself in a situation where you had to make a decision, but you didn't. You actually let go of your need to decide one way or the other. Very interesting. Behind, there is the Ten of Shells, the Success Card, the Three of Roses, which would be the Three of Wands, Opportunity, and the Hangman, Attitude. Um, well, whatever decision that might have uh, brought happiness in your life, that might have um, brought the results you were hoping in order to bring happiness to your um, love life, relationship life, uh, found you in a moment of stagnation. You definitely took some time and possibly you didn't make any decision one way or the other next question what is the lessons in love you need to learn for the future what is the lesson in love you need to learn for the future in order to be gratified and fulfilled and happy what is the lesson in love to learn for the future so we're going to try to get out of this uh, stagnant energy which lesson do we need to learn in the future the magician energy you definitely need to be proactive you might have let go of an opportunity in the past because of your inability to make a decision and because of your need to uh consider everybody's needs because of your uh beautiful uh personality trait that avoids upsetting the situation, avoids the drama, uh, avoids the change. Um, but as a consequence, you, I, think you, I feel like you missed an opportunity. You missed the opportunity of making a decision that might have, um, might have meant triumph and victory and achievement and happiness for you. You held off on on the achievement of your own love dreams. And the lesson for the future, you really need to make your decisions and act upon them with the magician card. You really need to summon all the energy you have within yourself to make a decision. You might have lost the opportunity to um, open yourself up to love and relationship because of your undecidedness because of your uh, lack of uh, ah, energy and decisiveness. So this is what you need to learn for the future. Next question. What do you need to embrace in order to welcome love in your life again? So what do you need to embrace in order to welcome love in your life again? Oops. The devil, seduction. Ah, you have to let yourself go a little bit let's put it this way you have to understand that um, you're human 
there are needs that need to be taken care of. There are desires and wishes and, and, and senses that need to be gratified as well. We are spiritual beings, of course, but love is a uh, all-around experience. It's 360-degree experience. It cannot be just platonic love or spiritual love. Of course, that's wonderful. That's a, that's a wonderful uh, plane when it comes to um, realizing yourself as a human being um, with spiritual love. But you're also a human being, and it's really important for any relationship to function, in order to, for any relationship to function, is to be able to fulfill each and every one of, the, um, of these layers. You need to be uh, emotionally gratified. You need to be spiritually gratified by the other person. You also need to be sensually gratified. And this is why we have the devil card. Don't be afraid to... Um, to let yourself go and try to seduce the other person and flirt the other, with the other person. Um, yeah, I do feel like this is a very uptight uh, kind of energy with the two of uh, the two of wings, the two of swords, and the this um, Libra uh, justice card um, kind of uh, oracle card here. Um, with the magician and the devil, you definitely, I think, need to let yourself go a little bit. Listen to your, uh, to yourself, to your needs, uh, to what you really desire, and 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 become more proactive. And also listen to what your body is asking you. What your body, what is your body attracted towards more? Um, what's the advice that you need to receive? in order to welcome love and happy relationships in your life again. The guidebook that accompanies the uh, Amy Zerr and Monty Farber uh, love Enchant the Enchanted Love Tarot deck is also very interesting. Uh, if we have time, we might take a look at some of the uh, expanded messages. So what is the advice you need to receive at this time. Mm, two cards. Four gems, possessiveness, and queen of shells, the empath. Um, for me, the advice here is with the four gems, the four of pentacles. And if you're holding yourself together too much, if you're holding your own needs, your own wishes, and your, your own all your desires to yourself and you're not giving them a voice you're not giving them a, a a channel an emotional channel to to let them out and and find a way to gratify those wishes and your desires um you need to open up i do feel like emotionally you're too self-controlled and you might um think in Try to um, satisfy other people's needs before you satisfy your own. Um, you definitely need to open up with the Queen of Shells, the Queen of Cups. I need. I think you need to find an outlet for your emotions, for your emotional life. Uh, don't be afraid to feel your feelings. Don't be afraid to express them. Don't be afraid to ask for love. Give it out uh, generously, but um, also expect it in return. And definitely open yourself up with this magician card and the devil and, and the four of gems. You definitely need to open up. If you feel blocked, if you feel um, limited, if you feel paralyzed, um, let's pull another card. What other kind of advice? Or maybe we'll pull a card from the um, intuitive oracle on this question His, on this question. Um, open up to love. Don't be afraid to express your feelings. Don't hold the things inside. Don't hold back. When you have a voice inside that is telling you that this is what you need, this is what you desire, that is the person that you uh, long for and long after, um, don't hold, hold it all to yourself. Mm. 
Let's see. What is the possible outcome? What is the possible outcome in love and relationship? Whomever needs to receive this message. What is the possible outcome? I these two cards here. What is the possible outcome? Oops. Ooh, King of Shells. I'll take the first one that is visible. The visionary. King of Shells is the utmost fulfillment of the um of the cup suit. And it's the fulfillment of your emotional needs. I do feel like once you finally open up and and um, make your decisions freely, um, letting your senses guide you, letting your desires guide you, uh, letting your emotions guide you, that's when you're going to be emotionally fulfilled and you will welcome love into your life. Uh, behind the King of Shells, the King of Cups, there was also the Seven of Shells. This is the um, the card of the opportunity of the possible choices. The Two of Shells, Romance. So I definitely feel like there will be love coming into your life and the possibility of being finally, finally happy, finally finding the relationship that will fulfill you, that that person that will complete you. Now, as a final guidance from the intuitive oracle, what is the final guidance my viewers need to receive about their search for love? What is the final guidance? I will read the extended message from the guidebook. What is the final guidance? Let's see if we can get a jumper. What is the final guidance spirit guides from the pure white light? My viewers need to receive about their love life. This one wants to be seen. This beautiful card. The joyful. I know that the purpose of life is to be happy and live purposefully. So please don't deny that to you. How beautiful. Okay. Lighting is weird today. Let's see. All right. Let's take a look at the uh, card 38 to be fair. From Colette Baron Reed uh, deck. Essential meaning, balance, justice, and need to consider options, mutual benefit, the law of cause and effect. Let's see if there's something about relationship. Can you find a way to achieve fairness right now? This is a time for listening as well as speaking, for understanding as well as asking to be understood. There is much to be learned, and you will learn it if you remain open and objective, weighing options and considering all sides. Your heart wants to connect to others, so allow for a balanced exchange of ideas and actions. The best kind of relationship is one in which there is mutual benefit, and each party feels heard, valued, and respected. Be fair to all. And I do feel like I, for the main energy of your current situation in combination with your past uh, experience, two wings, I feel that that need of yours to hear everybody, uh, to be fair to everybody, is what I might have hindered uh, the... Um, might have not allowed love to enter into your life and bring you happiness. From the intuition oracle, the joyful. This is card number 42. I know that the purpose of life is to be happy and live purposefully. 
The joyful is obviously playful, but she's also one of the wisest teachers to be found. She knows the purpose of life is to be happy. She's the epitome of this truth, the secret of life, and she's not naive in the least. She sees how so many other people refuse to allow themselves to be happy, determined to delay happiness until this or that goal is attained. She knows, however, that she cannot let anything interfere with her joyful state of mind because she needs it to do her best on all levels. She also knows that along with attaining happiness, the purpose of life is to give life purpose. She tells these secrets of life to her sweet little bird friend who has promised to ally its purpose with hers and spread the truths far and wide. The joyful wants everyone to do their part to build a community that is harmonious and focused on a path of reaching upward for love, light, and laughter. She knows that life for for her fellow mortals is filled with many sorrows and challenges, but that a joyful attitude is a better use of a person precious a lifetime and will help facilitate positive change in the world in the heart of the matter. If you find yourself taking yourself too seriously, consult the joyful. She knows that life can be worth living if you let it be, and she wants you to remember the many opportunities to enjoy yourself that exist even when things look bleak and hopeless. When we are sad, experience loss, or are facing difficult circumstances of our own or another's making, we can come to feel that life has no purpose or meaning. But we must remember that happiness is a choice, no matter how difficult it is to accept this fact. The joyful wants to remind us that each moment is a gift and has special meaning. Sorrow does break our heart, but it can also make our hearts stronger by filling them with compassion for others who suffer. Both our joy and our suffering are meant to be shared so that we can comfort and inspire both ourselves and others to go on. We're all in the same situation as mortals. True joy can only come to us when we create a nurturing and supportive environment. So happiness is a choice. You might have denied yourself the chance to be happy in the past because you couldn't make a decision because you were afraid to hurt somebody or you were afraid to hurt yourself but you might have missed an opportunity. You haven't been able to look outside of your four walls. You kept everything in. When inside of you, there was a queen of cups that was screaming for love, attention, connection, for physical, sensual love as well. Open up to this. Open up to joy, to feelings and love and relationship, and you will find your king of cups, your king of shells. All right, my friends. Thank you so much for being with me for this Valentine's Day special reading for love and relationship for singles and looking for love. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you I hope you found value in it. If you did, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment, a feedback. I always appreciate that. Until I see you next time, many blessings and much love.